Hey babes, it's me Colin and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now today, I am filming this at one in the morning um, because I couldn't sleep and I was like, you know what, I look decent. Um, I probably would not film later today. So I was like, you know what, what better time to film a YouTube video than one in the morning when you look, when you look okay. So I'm filming a video right now. <laughs> so if I seem very tired, it's because I am. Today we will be discussing my Broadway dream roles. Now I have quite a few as you know I'm into a few musicals and I have a dream role, at least one dream role for pretty much every musical I'm in. There are some that I can't have dream roles in because the show is either mostly female or there are no like baritone parts that are you know easy for me to cover you know. So I, I take those things into consideration like I don't have a dream role from Heathers Mostly because of one, my casting type. I could not play a Ram or a Kurt because of that I just don't f see myself having the ability to play a jock. Um, JD I have considered, but unless they lower the key for most of his songs, I cannot sing his parts. Which is a bit sad because like, yeah, I'm, I'm a baritone, I promise, but a lot of JD's stuff is really difficult for me to sing if it's not lowered. So, we're going to be discussing my Broadway dream roles. So yeah, let's get into it. All right, so first off, my first dream role is Rod from the musical Avenue Q. Now, Avenue Q is an odd show because there are only, it's a mix of puppets and people, like actual puppets and people performers. And um, they have a lot of their actors playing two characters. Like, so if I, if I got the role of Rod, I would more than likely have to play Princeton along with it, which I'm okay with. Princeton is one of my favorite characters. Um, he is in my vocal range, so his, his stuff is really easy for me to sing. But if I got the role of Rod, I would have to also play Princeton, but I mostly want to play Rod because he is a character that I could definitely play. I've sung his music before. I can do a cute character voice for him. I can, he's a gay Republican, which I'm not. I'm gay, but I'm not a Republican. But he's just, I've seen many, many Avenue Q bootlegs and he just seems like a character that I could very easily, I could very easily play. Oh girl, my hair. It's a bit better. My next dream role is probably Jeremy from the musical Be More Chill. Now. Be more chill, most of their male characters are either minor, which I would not mind playing a minor character on Be More Chill. Trust me, I would just love to do Be More Chill someday. But most of its characters are either tenors or like high baritones, which I'm not. I'm a low baritone, no doubt. Will Rollins, the new Jeremy on Broadway currently. I feel like his Jeremy is a lot easier for me to um, play and sing because he has a lower voice than Will Connolly who originated the role. But I feel like if I try to s copy copy Will Rowland's interpretation of Jeremy in terms of his voice, I feel like Jeremy would be a good role for me to play. I know what he goes through in the musical because like this. What is happening with my hair? Oh, a mess. Next up, we have Damien from the musical Mean Girls. Now, Mean Girls, oh god, I, I, I have a, I adore Mean Girls. You can ask anybody who knows me. Mean Girls is one of my favorite musicals of all time. Like, words, like words cannot describe how much I love Mean Girls. And Damien, I am Damien. Like, if you know me and you're watching this, you will agree that I am literally the embodiment of Damien. I am Damien. Next, we have Charlie Brown from the musical You Are a Good Man, Charlie Brown. Now, I have already played Charlie Brown before, and that was in a local production I did a few weeks ago. I have pictures on my Instagram, and if you want to check those out. Um, but I would love, it's my favorite, one of my favorite Broadway shows of all time, and I would absolutely love to do it again, like, in a higher sort of, even if it was like, the same level of professionalism that my theater company was, I would still love to do the show again and I would love to play Charlie Brown again because he, I, I can promise you that vocal stuff felt like it was written for me because I felt the most comfortable I've ever felt singing his stuff. 
in that musical. Next up, we have Ogi from the musical Waitress. Now, a waitress. Oh, girl, I love Waitress. And I cannot play a Dr. Pometer because his, his stuff is a tad, a little tiny bit too high for me. Unless they lower it, I could maybe play Dr. Pometer. I couldn't play, I don't want to play Earl. I would never want to play Earl. Um, Cal, I don't have the looks for Cal. I'm too flamboyantly homosexual. Ogie, I feel like I could definitely play. Like, Ogie is a straight character, I believe, but in terms of my looks, I feel like I would just fit Ogie the best. Next, we have Barry from the musical The Prom. Now, oh, The Prom. Rest in peace, this girl. He's a very flamboyant character who's a Broadway star, and I feel like if that ain't me, I don't, I don't know what is. Next, we have Beetlejuice and Adam, or Beetlejuice or Adam from the musical Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice has slowly risen to my favorite, like one of my favorite Broadway shows ever. Like, uh, there's not a single song in that musical that I skip. There's not a bad actor or actress in that musical. It's just, it's wonderful. Um, and I can do, you can ask some of my friends, I can do the Beetlejuice voice healthily. I'm not gonna do it right now because my voice is, she's dead girl. But I can do Beetlejuice's, or I guess Alex Brightman's um, Beetlejuice voice um, and not have it hurt my throat very much. And if I don't end up being cast as Beetlejuice because I'm not fit for the role or um, they find someone better, which is like, probably, um, I'd love to play Adam too. He is um, one of the characters that dies in the beginning of the musical and turns into a ghost and he's a main character. And um, his stuff is so much fun for me to sing and it's really easy for me to sing and he's a very awkward kind of, you know, nerdy kind of character and I feel like that is my casting type. So <laughs> um, I feel like I could definitely play Adam as well. Now finally, one of my favorite Broadway shows ever, Wicked. Like the only male character I can really see myself playing is Bach. Now, Bach is a sort of minor character. He's not like a, an ensemble role, but he is definitely not like, in terms of alphabet importance. I um, can definitely see myself playing Bach because he's awkward and he's a lover boy and he's just, he's all around just a, a, a big old cutie pie. So we have come to the end of my Broadway dream role list. Please, in the comments below, tell me what some of your dream roles are if you are into musical theater, which I know most of my followers are. Tell me some of your dream roles, some of your movie dream roles, because Hollywood keeps remaking a bunch of movies. So if there's a movie that you like and you have a dream role from that movie or a movie franchise or a TV series that you'd love to play, please tell me in the comments below. I'd love to, you know, hear your, hear your thoughts. My next video will more than likely be something a bit more fun than me just sitting here and talking. Um, I was thinking either another cover, a Q&A, or a video of me attempting to do eyeshadow. Because, <laughs> like, I'm so bad at eyeshadow. But that's basically all I have for you today. Um, please take care of yourself. Please love yourself. Please love people around you. And um, I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye. Thank you.